episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 1, Week 23, Science. For everyone else, that just means we're going to be talking about some different types of clouds and how these clouds are formed, as well as some of the weather that these different types of clouds can produce. So I wanted to let you know that um, as we're coming to the end of the school year for my CC students, that uh, Doodling Through Education will be back for cycle two, and there will be a workbook um, for that cycle as well. I'm looking to release that sometime in July of this year, 2025. So without further ado, let's start doodling. Clouds are something that we see almost every day. They float in the sky, um, sometimes they block out the sun, or sometimes they just float around and look like cotton candy. Sometimes they're white and sometimes they are darker. And different kinds of clouds can also mean different kinds of weather. And meteorologists or people who study weather can study how these clouds are formed in order to understand and predict our weather better. So what are clouds made of? Clouds are made of tiny droplets of water that can also be frozen. So then comes the question, how do these clouds form? Well, it has to do with warm air rising in the atmosphere. When warm air rises up, it cools down. This warm air has small droplets of water in it. All the air has water vapor in it. Warmer air holds more water vapor than cold air. And as the warm air cools, as it rises, this water vapor can make tiny drops of water, or if it's cold enough, tiny bits of ice. As it cools more and more, more droplets form and this eventually turns into a cloud. And so a cloud is made up of millions of these tiny water droplets that were brought up there by the cold, warm air rising and cooling. Now the amount of water vapor that air can hold really depends on the air's temperature. If the air is cooler, then it holds less water and if it is warmer, it holds more water. And so as I said, when that air cools, this water vapor condenses and forms these droplets. If the water condenses near the ground, then we call this fog. Now, if it condenses up in the sky, it makes clouds. Now, once clouds have formed, they will remain there until the air is either warmed or rain falls. Let's begin talking about the different types of clouds. And the first cloud type that I want to talk about today are cumulonimbus clouds. These are thunderstorm clouds. They tower high and they have tops that are often shaped like anvils. These types of clouds are associated with things like heavy rain, heavy snow, hail, lightning, and even tornadoes. Something that's interesting about these cumulonimbus clouds is that the anvil at the top usually points in the direction that the storm is moving. Next up, let's talk about cirrus clouds. These are those 
clouds that are located very high in the atmosphere. They are composed of ice and they appear to be thin and wispy clouds and sometimes can be blown into what looks like long streamers. Cirrus clouds are typically white and not darker and when meteorologists see them, they have noted that they predict fair or pleasant weather, but they also can indicate that a change in the weather will occur within 24 hours. Next up, let's talk about stratus clouds. These are those uniform grayish clouds that cover most of the entire sky. They sometimes look like fog, but fog that doesn't reach the ground. The type of weather that happens when stratus clouds are present um, can range from a light mist to a drizzle of rain. Next up, let's talk about stratocumulus clouds. These are the low, puffy, gray clouds. They typically form in rows with blue sky that is visible in between them. And it is also said that they have a honeycomb appearance. Rain rarely occurs when stratocumulus clouds are present. And last, let's talk about cumulus clouds. These are those white puffy clouds that look like those pieces of floating cotton. These are often also called fair weather clouds. The base of cumulus clouds tend to be flat and the top has rounded towers. And so when your little brother or sister draws pictures of clouds, they most likely are cumulus clouds. Some people even say that the top of cumulus clouds resemble the head of a cauliflower. These are the type of clouds that can grow and develop into cumulonimbus clouds, which we talked about first. So they can be fair weather clouds or they can grow and turn into those cumulonimbus thunderstorm clouds. And that's all we have for today. Make sure you do those four worksheets in the science workbook found at doodlingthrougheducation.com. And I will see you next week for our final set of videos for this school year. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.